It's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 10 of Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. BCW, if I yawn, I'm sorry. I, like, woke up not too long ago from a nap, and I'm still trying. Well, I watched 100, and I woke up, but just in case it happens, so nobody gets pissed. Like, oh, she's sleeping or some shit. Mm. I know it's not an idiot. No. But you know you can get it done faster if someone helps you, right? There's regular guys and then Ranta. That's all. That's it. You gotta love them, though. <laughs> well, thank God Mary isn't having a panic attack. Yet, I mean, because she seemed fine when she voted, but at the same time, she, you, you never fucking know. Like, there's gonna be a moment where she's gonna relive it, and I don't really want her to relieve this moment all over again. Like, you know how, like, deja vu. I don't want that for her, and I'm scared. Like, dead ass. I don't think anybody's gonna die today, but anytime when I say that, someone usually dies. Um. But I don't think so. I think everybody will be okay out of this. Everybody will be fine. No one will die. I, I beg you. If somebody else fucking dies this close to the ending, we have fucking problems. Like, honestly. There's kind of one more thing I want to talk about, but I kind of want to think about it a little bit more while this episode, and then talk about it towards the end, because I don't know yet about how I feel with the next few things, but we'll wait. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. True. I'm gonna say the weird thing is the way that they were pulling it off. You would think at least blood would come off on that, <laughs> but no. <laughs> oh, so it's like the tower thing from um, Don Machi, right? It's going to get more and more dangerous. Sounds like girls. Oh. No. Will you just shut up and come on? Oh shit. Safe is why you're supposed to keep your fucking mouth shut. Honestly, with his breathing patterns, if patterns, it kind of reminds me, you know how, like, if any of you have seen Demon Slayer with fucking Tajino and Ish and the abilities he have, yeah.
You sure? Yeah, anything will be best, you know. Come on. You sure? I don't know. I still have that really weird feeling in the pit of my stomach that something's going to happen in this episode. It may not be now. It could be later on in the episode, though. Well, then maybe he should just leave, you know? Maybe it's just his time to go. Probably talk to him. Maybe. Excuse me. You all were. I mean, but still, you got one of two things. You get to talk to him or tell him he gotta leave. I mean, I don't want to say Ranta's a prick, but he is a prick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just speak from the heart. That's all you gotta do. It's nothing, dude. You sure about that? Both your thoughts.
No, but you you can tell him right now about how you truly feel about his weakness instead of just bottling up inside and the next thing you know you get pissed about him at like some stupid reason. Don't be such a dick, dude. I mean, I know he has his reasons for it, but still. Honestly, in my opinion, I feel like nothing got solved. And what they, and also in my opinion, what they should do is that they kind of need to have a group fucking meeting and just talk everything out because it is starting to maybe get a little, uh, what the fuck? Um, a little awkward between everyone. So, I mean, talk it the fuck out. It's the better thing to do instead of just keeping it inside. I mean, but that's what I would do. Instead of just like, no, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to bottle it up. I'm going to get pissed later on. Whenever your boyfriend asks, babe, what's wrong? You're like, ooh. Mm -hmm. I still can't shift it, even though I should feel it burn. But damn it. It's just fucking complicated. I mean, but he, he, yeah, honestly, you gotta just, he, he says whatever the fuck he wants to say. If he wants to fucking shout, eventually, he is gonna run out of breath, and it's just gonna be his fucking fault. I mean, is there a day where Ronta is not an ass? Like, I, I want to say, like, kind of before, what's his face died? He, he, no, he was still an ass when dude was alive, so, I don't know. Fucking Manito is, like, rolling in his grave, like, what the fuck are you doing? Have interesting weird teeth, but okay. See, you say that. No. Yeah. 
please don't start arguing. I swear to God. Come on, man. We got like three minutes left, so shut the fuck up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit. Fucking monster. You would sound a fucking alarm. That's the one that killed her friends. Yep. See? I fucking told you something was gonna happen! There is no fucking way they can beat that, that big ass thing. A big ass wolf. Don't, mm. You guys need to get out of there, like ASAP. There's no way in hell y'all gonna be able to defeat that thing. Just get the fuck out. And plus, she's having a panic attack over here. See? See? I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Like, oh, God. Now I kind of wish they didn't come, but no. 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 I mean, we only really got two episodes left. That's an OVA, and... I literally don't know how the show is going to fucking end. I am just, uh, it scares me that she has to, like, live that trauma again, possibly, and such. I don't really want anybody out of this character, uh, not even characters, group to die, and I feel like it's going to happen. Like, somebody's going to get either, someone's going to die, or we're going to have, like, someone be seriously injured really bad, but, I mean... The conversation or really arguments that Ranta and Haru like have, to me, it's just like they, they bicker like brothers. I mean, they still love each other by the end of the day, but at the same time, it's just I kind of wish Ranta, not even really, it's more of heart, just kind of instead of getting worked up and then lashing at him and he thought about it for a moment before actually just listening to him and having his opinion taken out and such, but Ranta, in a way, he needs to work on his skills as well. I mean, they're both still, I, I feel like Ranta's still a little bit shaken up on um, Manato dying. And the fact is, even with the episode, it kind of looked like freaking Haru was going to get hurt. But it felt like to me, fucking Ranta didn't give no damn shit about it. Like, dude, seriously. I know at the end of the day, like, everybody has a little bit of mixed feelings with Ranta, but then at the same time, that's your fucking teammate. And, I mean, shit. If it was me, that ass. Like I said, we have a group meeting before we go back in. We talk and settle our differences. If we need another day to just chill the fuck out and to get everything that we need out the air, clear the fucking air, so that everyone doesn't get pissed at someone doing something, whether it's right or it's fucking wrong, so that we can go into the next section, kick some fucking ass, come home, you know, eat, sleep, do whatever the hell we gotta do. But, like, with this, it is a lot of still tension, and it's mainly due to Ranta. And, I mean, and then a little bit of, like, Mary, because of the fact that she's now reliving, um her past like all over again when seeing that big ass creature come in out of nowhere so of course yes she is gonna have like a panic attack and she's currently freaking out as of right now so like i said i really need them to get the fuck out of this mind and take her somewhere and just like sit and fucking talk now ronta might be the dumbass or um uh what's his face uh, uh my i can't pronounce his name right 
um, the guy with the big ass sword, one of them might try to go against this thing. And honestly, I don't want that to happen either because if one of them tries, one of them could fucking die. Like, l think about that. She lost several comrades and I don't want her to see, like, everything happen all over again. If someone makes that ultimate sacrifice, I, I, I won't be pissed, but at the same time, I'll be a little bit upset because they're the ones who were like, yeah, fuck it. I just, you know, honestly, I don't care. So it, it's between, I could say Ronta could do it, but then at the same time, like any one of these characters could, but at the same time, I'm like, nah, I feel like y'all gonna be fine. Like last episode's gonna come, some OP thing is gonna come, and then you're gonna be able to defeat the thing, and then everything's gonna be fine. Or... An OP thing is going to come when somebody makes the ultimate sacrifice. Don't know how, but, I mean, with these last two episodes, like, it could go any fucking way. So the one thing that I was thinking about, and I kind of made my decision with um, one of the other Patreon show, because I think tomorrow I'm going to record the last two episodes of it. With this show, I got three episodes left. The OVA plus the last two episodes. Um... I'm going to think about this, and I should have an answer, maybe, I want to say, like, I don't think I have a lot of shit either. I don't have a lot of stuff tomorrow, and I don't have a lot of stuff on Thursday, and so if I want to do it, I need to do it at least between Wednesday and Thursday before Friday comes, because once Friday comes, I'm busy all night. Um, what I was thinking, because of the fact is I only really have three episodes left, I was going to have all three episodes in one big video and that would be like an hour and 30 minutes long or I would do episode 11 by itself and then do 12 and 13 together. I'm still not 100% sure on what I'm going to do like I said so probably between tomorrow Wednesday or this um did I just say tomorrow Wednesday? Tomorrow or Thursday my bad um I should have an answer but if I do all three it's good because then I could just go ahead and get this and 100 completely done and start my next two um, Patreon series, which is one that's 12 episodes and another that's 24 episodes. So, of course, with the 24 episode, I am going to do it by two instead of by one, unlike the 12 episode series. But um, I don't want to take too, too long on it and such. So I feel like I think I just should end them both either sometime not this following the following week when this comes out not next week when this when these two episodes come out probably the following week so probably between tomorrow thursday this weekend i should have my answer specifically for this show because now i know with 100 i am going to do the last two episodes together and i kind of want to have one day where i can just focus on grimgar and one day where i can just focus on 100 and get both of the last few episodes out so then i don't have to worry and then it'd be the following week and I'm struggling and worrying about other shows and shit. But yeah, other than that, it was a really good episode with, you know, some unanswered questions and situations, mainly between Haru and Ronta. And hopefully with these last two episodes, something gets solved. I don't want to go into like these last three where in the end, you know, there are no regrets. Someone call someone on their shit and I feel like maybe Hadu might be the one or Ronta could be the one and then dealing with Mary and the situation of dealing with her past like right in front of her and having a panic attack but I'm not really gonna know until next time but <clears throat> other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the Magic Squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for either episode 11 or episode 11, 12, and the OVA. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.